So recently I was hiking up Manitou Incline, which is this crazy steep climb. And on the way down, we met this couple. And the husband is an accountant and he quit that job to start selling cookies, which is pretty cool. But then I started asking him a lot of the normal questions I think you're probably asking. What's his website? How much is he making? What kind of Facebook ads? And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. My whole business is run through a Facebook page. And I was actually really shocked and excited at the same time. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you three new businesses just like his that you can start for zero dollars and I will start them live and show you and see if we can get any customers so that you can copy it for yourself. So the three businesses that I'm gonna show you live today in this video is number one, starting an online rental business. Number two, starting an online bakery or selling any type of food item or just frankly any item online. And number three, creating an activity book. Let's dive in. The first business I'm gonna show you live how to start that I just saw recently is a rental business. So Airbnb is a rental business. RV Share or Outdoorsy.com is a rental business. Turo for cars is a rental business. The most important thing about doing this is that look for a place where there's already customers raising their hand. Amazon, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. So recently I was on Facebook Marketplace looking for a Yeti product. And I searched Yeti and I was looking around all these different products and one thing stood out to me. So let me show you. When I was actually searching these products, I saw this one that said, rent my bag. I was like, rent my bag? What are you talking about? And this says, rent my Yeti cooler backpack for $25. And it was really interesting and it was different. And so I messaged the person and yeah, they're starting a business in under five minutes, they're seeing if they can get customers. And if they're able to do this, they didn't have to create a website. So why this is such a great idea. They didn't have to spend any dollars up front. Zero, my favorite price. They're doing it a place that there's already customers. So let me show you live to see if we can actually create a bike rental business. I love biking. Maybe there's a bike rental opportunity out there. So on Facebook Marketplace, I'm just gonna create a new listing right here. I'm gonna post my bike in there and let's just see if we actually get any things. Uh, this is my DeRosa King bike. It's near mint condition, ultra light road bike. And if you're looking for the Ferraris of bikes, you found it. I am really, really curious to see if this is actually gonna get any bites. So that is exactly how I've done it for a bike business. You could add bikes, you could add camping gear. If you're trying to create your own marketplace, you can go test some of these things out. It's now nine o'clock. I just wanted to actually give an update. I'm honestly a little surprised and super stoked. Three people have actually messaged me already about my bike. Uh, this guy said it's got cash in hand. This girl's asking, is it available? Pretty damn amazing. So just go and check out marketplaces and put yourself up there and you never know what you're gonna find out. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you wanna see more no BS ways of starting and growing a business, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as hit the notification bell. People who hit the notification bell all get exclusive access to my office hours, which I do for free every week to answer all of your questions, as well as we give out some goodies for people who are just subscribers. So the next business I wanna show you is the Facebook Bakery page. So this is the same gentleman who I talked about in the beginning of the episode, and he talked about how he makes all of his money through a Facebook page. And so I wanted to see if we can create that for ourselves. The beauty of the timeline in these kind of businesses is it's taking five minutes to set up a page. We'll try it live. Two, we can get first customers and find out really quickly if people want it. Three, we can end up making thousands of dollars a month from creating something like this. And the beauty, by the way, if things don't work out, I didn't have to spend a lot of money and time to figure that out. Starting a bakery is an idea and dream for a lot of different people, especially maybe you out there. It doesn't apply for baked goods. If you have any type of product, you can create a Facebook page if it's gloves, if it's pants, if it's any type of item. You can create these kind of pages for free on different sites and see if you can get any customers. So I'm gonna try to start a similar business in under five minutes. Let's see if we can do it. The business I'm gonna show you live is called Horse Powder. It's kind of a weird thing. This is something that my brother who's a doctor invented. This is stuff that whenever he goes long distance mountain biking or road biking, he takes his powder, adds water, and that's all he uses for his entire ride. It's super endurance stuff. So I wanna to try to see if I can create a Facebook page for him, let a few people know about it and see if we get any bites. Oh, create a Facebook page. All right, health and wellness. Uh, the descriptions, long distance powder without any additives. It doesn't taste great, but it works. I think it's kind of interesting to say something like that. So I'm gonna add a profile picture. So let me put like a horse. Sometimes I just use the Google image stuff just to kind of keep it super simple. All right, now I got a horse image, download, boom. So what we're gonna do is just create a post and saying, all right, so created a page in a few seconds. Did a post in another few seconds. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to a few people who I know cycle and I'll post in groups that I am active in, not in groups that I'm not active in, just to kind of see what kind of responses I can get. So let me see if I can actually share this group. Done. That was literally less than five minutes and we had a business up and running. And then instead of creating the whole Facebook commerce thing, I'm just gonna take PayPal, Venmo, or Facebook cash if anyone's actually interested. And if no one's actually interested, didn't spend money, didn't spend time. Another thing that I would actively do here is I would be texting people 
I would be probably emailing people. I would try to go on Slack. Anywhere that you have real-time communication for people who are qualified, you can also search on Facebook friends who like biking and start messaging those people directly. A lot of businesses are looking for a landing page and ads and all these things. Literally in under three minutes, we're able to have a page and see if people are interested and potentially start getting customers. By the way, can you stretch that little pointer finger for me? And if you've liked these videos so far, make sure you hit that like button on this video. All right, this is still pretty wild. I already showed you guys earlier that people are trying to rent my bike because I posted on Facebook Marketplace. And then the last one, which is my brother's horse powder, there's basically one guy started it out and he has a friend who wants to get it too. And if people do want it, you got a business there. The third business that I'm gonna show you is how to create an activity business or an events business or a books business. The one example that really got me excited is the adventurechallenge.com. This was so interesting. So what they've created is a book that has a scratch off just like this that gives activities. And I think they originally started out with couples. So the beauty of that is that if you wanna start any of these kind of businesses, I'm gonna show you exactly how. What's amazing about this business is that you don't need to go to Alibaba and look for a manufacturer and procrastinate. You don't need to go to Shopify and create a website. You also don't need to spend $1 on marketing. How we can create an almost exact business just like this and see if it's gonna be working before we spend a lot of time and money on it is grabbing a note card. So the problem that I think we're gonna to try to solve with this business, which is what we're trying to do, is can we create an activity events for couples? So I grab my note card, I'm gonna write down five different activities that I think couples will like, and then I'm gonna text live on my phone to see if I can get anyone buy my activity book. So one of the ideas I came up with was blindfold fruit tasting drawings of each other. That actually sounds pretty fun. But what if we had, like you can make, you have to make out for five minutes with the other person. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Ooh, I like this one. 10 minute back road. Oh, so here's an idea that you can actually do. If you wanna go and figure out, use Reddit is a great way to do it. So I'm gonna go to subreddit slash Austin and then see if there's any to do's in here that I can actually copy on my five activity list. Oh, so maybe they could do a chop challenge. That would be really fun. So Chopped, if you haven't seen the show, it's one of my favorites. I just got inspired by seeing this is you give the other person the ingredients and they have to create the whole menu based on whatever ingredients you give to that person. And now what I'm gonna do is just text one or two friends of mine and see if any of them will actually wanna buy my couple's book. So which one of these businesses are you gonna start after watching this video? Let me know in the comments or if you've seen any other businesses that have really inspired you, I'd love to hear about them as well. So by the way, Anton actually responded to me saying, give me 10 to 15 more ideas, love the chop challenge and blindfolded fruit tasting and I'm happy to pay more than $5. So I'll actually finish this out. I'll send him over 10 to 15. And guess what? Maybe we got a new business. What are some of the major takeaways that maybe you have had from watching me show you and start these three different types of businesses? Number one, they didn't spend any money on marketing. There's no Shopify, there's no developers, there's no excuses. Number two, you really try to have to figure out how do I go to the places where there really already are customers? Don't try to go to the party where no one's at. Just go to the popular party and that's where you actually start your stuff. Number three, leverage platforms, Etsy. Facebook Marketplace, your own network, YouTube, Reddit, go to where the people already are. And lastly, limit yourself. Do the weekend challenge, which is can you get three customers and make $100 in the weekend? Because what I've noticed from my own experience is if I don't limit myself, I'll start spending more money, I'll start getting more excuses, and I end up just wasting a lot of time. And so the beauty is limit yourself to a weekend and copy these types of businesses and see what kind of results you get. And that is how you start a business in under 30 minutes. If you want more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I do exclusive office hours and I'll put out other juicy business content just like this. And if you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two videos above where I show other examples of how you can start your own business today. I love you and I'll see you out there.